Stampers, this is Gigi with Stamp Fanatics, and today I have this really sweet card, very summery, um, and it's going to be a birthday card for my son. So here's what I'm using. I'm using a piece of our crumb cake cardstock, and I measured it at five and a half by eight and a half and scored it in the middle at four and a quarter for our card base. I have a piece of balmy blue. This had come down about a quarter of an inch, so this is uh, five and a quarter by four. And then this one is three and three quarters by five, which is just another quarter inch down. And this is our Whisper White. So let me show you how we're gonna start. I'm using two ink colors today. This is our Pacific Point and our Knight of Navy. So I'm gonna take the Pacific Point. I just thought it made a really pretty water. I'm gonna bring in a scrap paper, just so I don't mess up my surface. And I like to, this is our sponges, I guess I didn't even say that, that come in a circle and I just cut them in fourths. And so I like to use those and I kind of dab off on here and then start my card. So that's why the scrap paper. And that way I don't get it too heavy. And then you can get wherever you want it. And this is gonna be sort of my sky and my water. And I'm going about three quarters of the way down the card. I think that'll be good. Let's see, maybe a little more over there. All right. So I'm gonna keep this out, my Pacific Point, and I'm gonna actually be using the water that is in the High Tide set. And this is one that's in our annual catalog right now that we're using. And I'm mixing some of our new with our old so that you can see. Now that's carrying over, so you'll still be able to get your hands on it. And I'm just gonna take some of that for our water and put that down on the card. Just makes really pretty water. And maybe a little on this side too. I think that'll do it. Maybe I'll just go ahead and go in the middle too. All right. Okay, so I'm also gonna put that aside for now. Oh, wait a minute, let me do my birds while I have this out. So I'm gonna take my Knight of Navy and I'm using the birds that are in this set. They're right here, these little seagulls. And I am gonna ink that up. Just make sure I get the birds in the directions that I want. I've got a little bit of ink there. And we'll put that off to the side like that. Okay. And then we'll let that dry and we'll come over here and I want to do my sailboats. So I'm going to go back to my Pacific Point. Let's go ahead and stamp that. And then I'm taking the smaller sailboat and we'll just angle it up there. I love these sailboats. They are gorgeous. There's actually, we live on Lake Norman in um, North Carolina, and there's actually a sailboat regatta going on today. We noticed it as we were coming home. Okay, and then I'm going to stamp one more thing. I'm going back to my Knight of Navy, and I'm going to stamp Happy Birthday. So let's get that too. There we go. And now let me get the big shot and we'll go ahead and cut out these pieces. Okay, we're gonna do our sailboat. And I'm going to use the larger framelit. I love when they come with matching framelits so I don't have to sit there and fussy cut. I think that looks good. And we'll get the smaller one. We can do that over here. I think that'll be pretty good. And then I'm also using my little steering wheel, or I don't know what you call it, ship's wheel. And I have this nice framelit that's stitched that I'm gonna use for the happy birthday saying. So let me move this over here, actually. And we can do all this cutting at one shot. So I'm just gonna center that up. Maybe over just a bit, okay. And then we'll put our other plate on top and run it through. Okay. 
Maybe I'll run it back again for that little wheel. All right. So we'll have all the parts that we need to put this card together. You can see how it even cuts out that part of the sailboat. Awesome. Okay, and then I'm going to use my paper piercer and just pierce out these few pieces. Let me just do that off camera real quick and it pops right out. You can use your brush if you want. Um, it just goes a little quicker right now for me. Um, but we do have our brush that you can use, and there's our little wheel. All right, so I think we're done with this for now. So, let's see. We can go ahead and use my Tombow glue. You can use your snail adhesive. I'm just going to add this onto my balmy glue. And it gives you a little bit of wiggle room time so you can, let's see, I got that a little crooked now. Hold on a minute. There we go. Okay. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is take our sailboats. And I would like to add one. Now this one, I did a little bit of snail. And I just added it a little higher like that. And then on this one, I did some stamping dimensionals. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add, and I'm using some of my borders that you wind up getting stuck with that it actually fit the sailboat really well. So let's just take the backs off of that. Oh, there's always one that wants to stick. Wait a minute, there we go. And I'm just overlapping it a little, just like that on the water. And then I'm gonna take some of this great um, Night of Navy twine. It's actually Night of Navy and it looks grayish or maybe even like a crumb cake to me, but it just goes so well with the um, crumb cake, I love it. So I'm gonna wrap this around twice. And I think I have enough there. I'm going to go ahead and cut this. Let's do it a little bit longer. And I'm just going to tie it. I think I'll tie it in a knot first, and then I'll make it a bow. So that way I know I have it as tight as I want it. There we go. And then just bring it up. I kind of separated it a little bit like that. And then go ahead and tie your bow. There you go. And then we're going to attach, and I'm going to use just a little bit of snail with this. We're going to put our wheel on. And this won't matter because it's really not going to show. Well, maybe that little bit of adhesive. Let's get that out of there. There we go. I'm just going to put that down on the bottom. And then we have these cute embellishments. These are called the Sail Away Trinkets. Let me just get these open. And I will show you that you get an, another steering wheel and you also get an anchor. But we're going to use the wheel and I'm going to use a glue dot and I'm just going to attach it right in the middle of the anchor. I'm just going to kind of line it up and put it right in the middle. And then I'm using our dots. These are called Happiness Blooms, and these will also carry over. And I'm using the middle size. And I'm just gonna put it right in the middle of the wheel there. Whoops, stuck to me, not the, the wheel. Wait a minute. Let's try it again. There we go, okay. And let's see what else. Now we need to put on our saying. So again, I'm going to use a couple of Stampin' Dimensionals for that again. Let's see, one there and one there. And we're done. Oh, wait a minute. I did take, sorry, I did take my Pacific Point and my sponge again. And I just lightly sponged the edge of this thing. 
just because it, it's white on white and I love to separate it by a little bit of color. So I just went around the edge like that. And then we can put that on. And there you have it. Now I'm ready to attach this to my card base. So I'm gonna just take a little bit more of my glue. Put it over that string a little bit. And almost there. This just makes a nice manly card. And on the inside, I stamped, let me show you on this one. I stamped set sail in the direction of your dreams because I always feel like every year on your birthday, you should still continue to have your dreams and go for it. <laughs> so that's my card for today. And I hope you enjoyed it. And please make sure you put this on your wish list. This is a great set to get. Again, this is your sailing home and the matching framelits, which are smooth sailing dies. And if you haven't already gotten this, you can get this now, high tide. This will go through um, right now. And then this you can get on June 4th. So I'm trying to use a little of the new with the old. And also don't forget the itty bitty greetings. You get two full packs of stamps and sayings. So thanks for joining me today. And if you need to order anything, please use my current host code over at stampfanatics.com. Thanks for waiting. I did want to tell you about my June class this uh, coming month, and it is going to be with our new Sailing Home bundle. And I have three more ideas for you that I'm going to just give you a little sneak peek at that you'll see we're going to be using more of the pieces in here and more of the stamps. And that will be in my June class. Purchase this bundle and your class will be for free. And you can pick up your kits um, at Porch Pickup at my place, or you can have them shipped to you for a small fee. Anyway, um, keep that in mind for June, and thanks and have a great day.